So previously, we're looking at uh, the user experience, the subjective feedback. Now we're looking at the data, the objective performance based on the leak across many members. Now, in order for a mask to rate on Sleep HQ, we need to have over 500 members. All right, this is for the statistics and so on. So this mask got there very, very quickly, and it already has a popularity of uh, 1.07% of users. So, and that's just ResMed, guys. So don't worry about that stuff. But here it is here. Now we also have um, some subjective feedback here. So Sleep HQ members can rate the masks and provide their feedback here, but this is the important stuff. Well, it's all important, but here are the rankings. And what I'm looking at mostly is the leak data. This is really important. So currently it's 26 out of 51. All right, so not crazy shabby, but not amazing. And the great thing about our platform is, let's just say you wanna come in here and you're looking for a full face mask, but you want one that's got a great seal. You can just go mask analytics and you can just go uh, overall, we'll change that to uh, leak and then we'll select type and go full face. And we can see right here that the best performing full face mask for leak is the F20. Okay, now let's just say we specifically want a ResMed mask and it's a full face. We go select brand, ResMed, so we got ResMed full face. We can see here that all the top performing masks for ResMed when it comes to leak are the F20. They're just different models of the F20, different flavors, like I said before, the Air Touch, the non-magnetic and so on, different tweaks. Now, if you're a Sleep HQ Pro member, you also receive free unlimited access to Mask Fit IQ. Now this is like a facial recognition tool. It'll scan your face to show you what mask size you are, what are the best masks for your unique facial profile and so on. All right, so you can just come down here, click Mask Fit IQ. Here's how it works. I want to show you the easiest way to fit up any CPAP mask with Mask Fit IQ. Let's do it on old mate Uncle Nico. Scanning your face, please hold still to scan your nostril. Scanning your nostril, please scan complete. Tap submit. So for type, we'll choose full face mask. For brand, ResMed. And then the name is the Air Touch. F30i, down the bottom here, find my size, here we go. And just like that, I have a moderate match for size, medium. And to finish up, let's grade some Sleep HQ profiles, shall we? Starting with Alan, g'day Alan. All right, so here's the AirTouch F30i, average leak, nine. And I'm gonna give this a grade of A. And you might be thinking, hang on, why? Why would you give that an A? It's actually not the mask's fault on this occasion, all right? So you can see here, uh, here's the leak, and you've got all this leak here, but all this leak is caused because his apnea isn't treated, okay? It's a really great um, topic, to be honest. So he's got his pressure max here at 11 centimeters, which is here. So the machine would like to go higher. It can't, he stopped it. That's the pressure max. It can't go above 11, right? So he's rolled onto his back or maybe he's during REM sleep. Something's happened here. He's breathing well here, no leak. Look, the mask is doing very well, no leak. And then all of a sudden he starts experiencing all this apnea. Look at it, obstructive apnea, 48 seconds, 26 seconds, 44 seconds, all this apnea. Now, because of this apnea, Right, he's hyperventilating, right? He, he stops breathing and then he starts taking these great big de deep breaths. <sighs> now what happens is as he breathes out, <sighs> got the airflow coming in, it's just, <clears throat> it's causing the leak. You can see it here, boom, boom. So every time he hyperventilates here, 
here, here, you get the increase in leak. So his apnea is causing the leak. It's not the mast's fault. Might be a bit confusing for you, but you can see it here, right? There's no leak here, and then leak. No leak, leak. All right. Um, let's go to the next one. All right, so, oh, this is interesting. So he was doing quite well here when the pressure was around 10. And then I think he's hit REM sleep here. Pressure's jumped up to 15 and now he's in all sorts of trouble. And this once again, guys, is the big issue with automatic CPAP delivery, all right? If he was on a fixed pressure at 10 centimeters, the kids have put the bath on. Fuck my life. And more often than not, it's doing way more harm than good. Like if Brett's my patient and I'm his clinician and I'm putting him on a fixed pressure of 10, which is, what's the switch here? So he's got his, his meet average pressure is 11.34. I'm putting him on 10. I know that you can go lower than the average pressure with Resmin devices. I'm putting him on 10. He's on one fixed pressure the whole night. He's probably gonna get better results, better comfort, better leak, better everything, because this is what's happening, guys. Pay attention. The pressure jumps up in response to a bit of shit breathing here, right? A bit of flow limitation, a little bit of flow limitation. Pressure jumps up, leak, leak shoots up with the pressure. That makes sense. More airflow, more, more leak. But because of that, because there's more air coming out of the mask now, there's less pressure inside the mask, so there's less therapy. That's how it works. It's all about the pressure inside the mask. Once we get 50 liters, or 40 liters per minute of leak, everything goes to shit, everything. The automatic algorithm cannot titrate correctly. It, it can't work out the breathing. It can't work out the apnea flags, it's fucked. So it's gone once it hits 24 liters, all right? It's screwed. But more importantly, everything else is screwed as well. So the whole system is completely broken once leak increases, okay? And that's why fixed pressure is so much better. Next up we have Hamish, average pressure of nine, average leak 0.32 and leak throughout all his nights, 1.53. We're giving him an A plus. Well done, buddy. Next up, Jay, average pressure of 10 and a half, average leak three and a half on this particular night. However, when he's using his air touch, his average leak across all nights is 7.2. And on this particular night, we are giving him a B. Next up we have Kevin, a very high average pressure here of 17. So an average leak of 14 and a half is acceptable, I would say. You can do better, obviously, and the average leak with this mask is nearly nine. And for the most of the night, it's actually doing really, really well here. Look at this, four, 3.6. So it's doing really well. And this is the importance of having access to this detailed leak trace throughout the night. So you can see what's going on. So what likely happened here, all right, is he rolled onto his back. That's what I'm thinking. So it's something to do with his sleeping position because he would have had a REM period maybe here. There would have been one here. I think one here as well, one here and one here. So it's not sleep staging, at sleep position here. I think he's on his back in this section. And if we zoom in here, all right, you can see once again, like these are, this is uncontrolled sleep apnea here. Next up we have Nelly. G'day Nelly. Average pressure of nine, average leak of 0 0.11. And with her air touch, she has an average leak of less than one. We're giving Nelly an A plus. Well played Nelly. Rhett has an average pressure of 10, average leak of 2.72 on this night, average leak with this mask of 5.7, and on this particular night, we're giving Rhett an A plus as well. Well done, legend. Now we have Sully, 
8.42 average pressure, average leak is nine, that's high for that low to moderate pressure. Average leak with this mask is 7.5, which is quite high, you can see it's quite leaky. So we're gonna give that a B, buddy. Not too bad, not too shit. And last of all, we have Zach, average pressure of 10, average leak on this particular night of three, and uh, average pressure of cross all nights of three. Looking pretty good, some big spikes here. These are these big jumps that ResMed does that can often cause a lot of leak. You can see it causing some leak, but not too crazy. And I'm gonna give, and we're gonna give Zach an A plus. A, we'll give him an A plus, feeling generous. Anyway, mates, I hope you enjoyed the video, the insights, the feedback, the detailed Sleep HQ mask analytics. Thanks to all the members who contributed. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon, cheers.